The sun is very important. Vitamin D, like vitamin C or vitamin A, is very important. When we're deficient in the sun, we become deficient in, in our exposure, we become deficient in vitamin D. Vitamin D is created through interaction with the skin and the sun. Today, doctors, specifically the dermatologists, have turned the sun into, for many people, into the enemy when it's one of our best friends. The use of sunscreen. There are people who will not walk out the door and spend one minute in the sun without putting a sunscreen. Some people go to the point where they won't walk around their own house without putting sunscreen on. What the, the field of dermatology has done is cut off people from their vitamin D. And this is showing up in many diseases, including cancer. My recommendation, and this is not easy because it depends on the weather, one's latitude, but getting exposure, whether it be through direct sunlight until one is a little bit pink. For cancer patients, this is very important. It's much better to take nutrients from the sun than it is to take vitamin D supplements. Though, if one is in a high latitude or the weather is very cold and one cannot get to the sun, one can, and one cannot afford sun lamps or going to these centers where they have tanning beds, radiation, natural radiation of the, in the visible spectrum and into the infrared are healthy, are necessary. So don't pay attention to dermatologists. Avoid the sunscreens to the maximum possible. Of course, if one goes out into the noon sun, into the sun is high overhead and needs to spend some time, sure. The sunscreens can protect us from being burnt but there's nothing healthy about them and there's nothing really protective. We need the sun, we need a sun exposure, we need vitamin D. So for patients who are fighting diseases, either increase their sun exposure, daily exposure to the point of getting a little bit pink is incredibly healthy. If you can't do that, then Take a good vitamin D, D3.